in this video we are going to look at how the growth of tourism in an NIC or NE can help to reduce the development gap and we have looked at Jamaica. So let's start roughly drawing the outline of Jamaica as our basis. So it's an island country in the Caribbean and why do people visit Jamaica um, using tourism as a way to close the development gap and that is because it's got large sandy tropical beaches really good amounts of sunshine um, most of the year round and so it's a really popular place uh, to visit particularly um, in that it's got quite uh, a unique culture so not only have you got the you know the physical features of The natural landscape but you also have uh, the culture of uh, Rastafarianism which clearly uh, my dude here with dreads has turned out really well so there's cultural aspects and physical aspects and um, there's lots of tropical forests to explore as well and wildlife. So why um, did Jamaica need to look at closing their development gap? Well most of their industry had previously been um, sort of your primary industry um, growing sugar cane, so it's our little sugar cubes in a pot, so growing sugar cane, um, some oil extraction, this is our oil barrel and then producing rum, so making rum, so that's secondary. And this wasn't really enough to help the country progress and become more developed. So it's mainly primary industry uh, with a little bit of secondary. So they've been using tourism as a way to boost their um, income. So they have developed new port facilities so that large um, cruise ships can dock you know, huge cruise ships can dock and people visiting on cruises around the Caribbean can then come spend money visit in Jamaica. The north has had the infrastructure so new roads etc have been developed to allow easy access for tourists and it provides for the Jamaican people around 200,000 jobs directly employed in the tourism industry. So you can imagine that those people who are directly employed then spend their money in other types of industries, which then means you know, the multiplier effect is driven as a result. Tourism now makes up about 24% of Jamaica's GDP. So how much money that they earn as a country. So it increases their GDP. Not only that, they get tax revenue in their money bag from com tourist companies that operate in Jamaica um, and which they can then use to improve infrastructure, um, developing new roads, hospitals, healthcare. So then it increases the level of development for the country. However, as with everything, there are two sides to every story. And as a result of the increased number of, of tourists who have to travel there in some way and if they're not traveling by cruise ship they're flying in and then need to be transported around and so there's increased amount of traffic on the roads and increased amount of um, air pollution as a result of the amount of coaches picking up and airplanes picking up people from to from the airport The cruise ship visitors don't spend as much money as those who are then flying in and staying in the hotels. So actually, um, they lose money um, from what well, they don't lose money, but they don't make as much if they could get more people to fly in and stay in the accommodation. So, um, 1.1 million approximately a year cruise ship visitors, and they spend around $70 um, compared to a staying visitor who would spend $120 uh, sort of a day. 
Um, so you can see that that's, that's not equal, that's not helping them to close the development gap as quickly if, if, if um, cruise ship tourists are encouraged as much as those who fly in and stay in the hotels. And it's not been equal developments. So the North has had a lot of attention in developments of improving infrastructure, um, links to where the you know, major tourist resorts are. But all along the South, unfortunately, the same attention has not been given. So you have almost a North-South divide um, developing in, in Jamaica because there hasn't been equal investment. So is it a useful tool to help reduce the development gap? Yes. It's increased the amount of GDP, um, income in their GDP. It's created a huge amount of jobs for people in Jamaica, which has then driven the multiplier effect. The tax revenues allowed the government to improve spending on healthcare and schools, improving you know, life expectancy and educational outcomes. However, um, the environment has suffered and the um, roads infrastructure, for example, has not been equal. And that is your case study of tourism as a way of reducing the development gap in Jamaica.